The election bird has landed, spreading the election fever around town. With many campaigns, many promises, many activities, the time has come again, as obtainable every four years, a time to decide our future, to decide who takes us further. Yes, what I look out for in the 2019 general election in Kuala State is, uh, is about votes that will be largely casted based on information at individual disposition. Uh, there will be a lot of uh, misinformation, there will be a lot of uh, wrongly, wrong information, and there will be a lot of uh, not well informed casting. But the most importantly, the 2019 election in Kuala State is going to be entirely about information and narratives. In 2019, this decision is even more challenging as voters and politicians head into Kwara's most fierce election thus far. With Abdurrahman Abdurazak coming with federal might and Abdurazak Atsunwa with the full force of the state, what will be the fate of Kwara 2019? The APC in Kwara State is a well organized party and disciplined uh, party. Because uh, there's nowhere where you have a uh, conglomeration of uh, people from different parties. And at a very short time, they are given the odious task to perform. I mean, the registration of new members, uh, new ex co members, and then the primaries. And for us to have been able to do the, all this within uh, six weeks. I think uh, that gives uh, kudos to the party that we are well organized. Well, as you know from inception, PDP is a peace-loving party, and part of our mantra is that power belongs to the people. And if you truly believe that power belongs to the people, you, want, you will eschew violence, you will make sure that um, uh, intimidation and harassment is not your forte. As you've noticed in all our campaigns of our um, uh, various candidates and all of that. You will not notice any violence streak at all. It's because truly, if you have the people on your side, why do you need to exclude violence? As expected, lots of activities have filled the air. Rumors and truths, truths and rumors. What do the people base their thoughts on? People should cast their votes based on the proper information that they have. It should not be about sentiment. If at all the choir state is a place we are need to take to the next level, where we have to take, where we have to make it work again, or we have to take it to the next level. The only thing that is most important is everybody must cast their vote based on proper and the fair information they have about their candidate. So many posters, slogans, and promises. But what are the issues to be addressed in 2019? The future is number one to patronize quarrels, to make sure that quarrels are the centerpiece of all our projects and our, 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 our propositions. Um, for us, we believe that the health sector is important. We've done a lot. People don't know that there's free education in Quarrels. Now, in the areas of water, in the area of duty empowerment, a lot has been done. There's the SME funds going on, going on and all of that. We intend to expand on that to make it indigenous, to make it on road. In part, it's about the people, and the people are the center point of PDP's action plan for 2019. We are going to address uh, education, health, and agriculture. These are key areas that are very important and very key to the life of our people. You know, most people in Kwara State are peasant farmers, we have, a, we have a civil servants, mostly civil servants. In fact, people call this state civil servant state. Uh, we are going to address these areas because that is those areas that has to do, at, that has direct effect on the life of the people. And uh, I want to assure you that uh, education, there is deficit in infrastructure, not only in education, in the uh, health sectors too. Go around and see the kind of schools we have, the public schools. Go around and see the health centers we have in Kwara State. All these uh, areas will have to be addressed if we want us to achieve the best that we want, both in education and uh, in the uh, education area. The youths are said to be the leaders of tomorrow. 
how much opportunities do they have today? If you look at the, uh, those that contested the election in Kwara State, it was a battle between the youth and the elderly. But thank God that a lot of uh, youth were able to make it. Uh, uh, we have a lot of them in the House of Assembly. Even in the uh, House of uh, Rep, we have, uh, we have uh, youth among them. So uh, the party is not discriminating against the youth. If you look at the, most of the candidates of our party, especially in House of Assembly, large, a larger percentage of them are very young people. Because our leader, Dr. Baka Bukolansaraki, the Senate President, has made it a point of reference that Quara must tap into the not too young to young people. And you can see it is very clear in the choice of our candidates across board because we emphasize that to the grassroots and we let them know the importance of building the next generation leaders and that's what has happened if you look at it um, if you look at even the the, the 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 structure of the party you see an, a lot of um, youth involvement in, across all strata if you look at our positioning strategy you see that the youth are the centerpiece of our action plan the youth the women uh, they are, they are the core of the PDP's trust, and because we believe in, we believe that the future holds a lot for PDP in Guara. Democracy is all about the people, their votes, their trust, their commitments. Which party has the trust of the Guara people? People of Guara State have made up their minds uh, to go along with the progressive, as was demonstrated during the last uh, by election in the report on Okero Axis. Uh, and not just that, even if you go to other parts of the state, particularly in the Equal uh, Central, they are more than ready for the APC. And uh, this will demonstrated by number of uh, calls you receive daily from people who are either party members or sympathizers calling you every time that this is what is happening here, we should do this, we should do that. PDP is presenting the best you can get in Quara. PDP is presenting people's commitment, people's desire. PDP is power to the people. So we're coming from, we're not, we're not top bottom, we're coming from bottom top, bottom to the top. That means we are believing in the people first. And what the people want is what we're going to do. What it means is that the project the people want is what we're going to do. The market the people want is what we're going to build. The health system the people desire is what we're going to do. Everybody involved in our election should be audited based on personal integrity. We should audit individual. We should try to know the president. We should question the president of all candidates involved in Quara State. This is the only way we can take Quara State to the next level. It should not be about vague promises. It should not be about sentiment. It shouldn't be about hate. It should be about quality of issues on ground. With the APC holding federal power and the PDP holding the Quara State Government House, what will be the fate of Quara 2019? My name is Tommy Sinoladele and I'm currently at Post Office area of Ilor in the Quara State Capital. We're on the streets today to hear the opinion of people concerning the 2019 general elections. Okay, so what are you looking out for in the forthcoming 2019 general elections? Actually, we are preparing for a free and fair election whereby everyone, every citizen, go out to vote and to pray according to a, a, an election whereby there's not going to be riot or any form of conflict, both at the federal level, state, and at the local level. What I'm looking for, I want it to be free and free election. And in the center of the law, I would like advise that they should put God first so as to have a peaceful environment and a conducive country at large. That's just mine. King got a run by the bottom bun, your junction bun, your 2019 in Luquara. Well, by Baba, what I'm about to say, I need to go. Well, I'm about to say, I need to go. You can go, my lord. One can't do as she last Sunday. Don't know what she said. I want my wife, one of the other, Mr. Bow. I want to go all the old school. That is where I run a wallet or no doubt. One time I get a sunny. Jabak and Tawaja, you can't matter what Jama, I want to go. I'm a day they call you up. In Tanti, I run it. Kumosa manja, kumofawala, kibonye kumolo ni lowo rese. 
What's the lad post office area of Ilorin, the Kwara State Capital? And I have here with me two young ladies whom I would like to hear their opinions concerning the general elections in 2019. I just um, ki olohun ko yan o yan gidi fuwa for example si ni nigeria yan je eyan gidi gan yan je awon yan kupo senisi ko si won ko ya ko je everybody ni everybody solve 